Julia Spencer Fleming, former Army brat and lawyer, has been nominated for every known mystery award, including the Edgar, and she's won quite a few. Her ex-Army Episcopal priest, Claire Ferguson, has thousands and thousands of followers. Edgar Awards winner Michael Malone has written 11 novels, many of them national bestsellers. He also writes short stories, nonfiction, plays, and screenplays, as well as television shows. They are here to present the best novel. She and I have spent a lot of nights together. Uh, we're the last survivors of the Best Novel Committee. <laughs> Almost 600 novels. Some of them came in very neat, small packages. Some of them came in big trucks with forklifts. Those, those were St. Martin's. <laughs> I live in a small southern town and the UPS man still doesn't speak to me. <laughs> He's on disability now. <laughs> we cared passionately about the choices we made. We finally couldn't even choose only five and we chose seven. seven. And Julia will now read those nominees to you. The nominees for Best Novel. The Lost Ones by Ace Atkins. <laughs> Penguin Group USA, G.P. Putnam Sons. The Gods of Gotham by Lindsay Fay. Penguin Group USA, Amy Einhorn Books, G.P. Penguin Sons. Gone Girl, a novel by Julian Flynn. Crown Publishers. Pot Boiler by Jesse Kellerman, Penguin Group USA, GP Putnam Sons. Sunset by Al Lamanda, Gale Cengage Learning, Five Star. Live by Night by Dennis Lehane, HarperCollins Publishers, William Morrow. All I Did Was Shoot My Man by Walter Mosley, Penguin Group USA, Riverhead Books. Do you want to open it up? I will open it. Go. Anyone else? And the best novel goes to Dennis Lehane for Live By Night. <laughs> Um, like 18 years, and this is my first best novel nomination, my first win. So strange. Hi. <laughs> um, wow. Uh, it, this, this is really cool. Um, so, look, I'm just going to thank, I, I want to thank, of course, the MWA. Um, I want to thank Claire and Michael Liat and Shelby at HarperCollins. I want to thank uh, my agent, Ann Rittenberg. Um, I, I want to thank readers, just in general, all of you, uh, all of you who are in this room and all of you across the world, God bless you. Um, you're a dwindling number, but I love you. Uh, I, I want to thank, this is, I, I don't want this to get uh, too ridiculous um, and sentimental because of what happened, but I, I do want to thank the city of Boston because um, <laughs> Um, it, everything about me that, that people like and everything about me that really pisses people off is, is all connected to, to being from Boston. I'm, I, the damaged and kind of fucked up psyche you see before you today is just a very Boston psyche. So, you know, thank you. 
Um, th uh, I want to thank, I want to thank bookstores, um, new, used, chains, indies, all of you. Um, I, um, I want to thank libraries. I, I truly would not be in front of you. Uh, libraries were uh, the light in the darkness for a kid from the wrong side of the tracks. Libraries, um, my mom got to take me to a library when I was seven, and nuns did the only thing that I can ever remember kind toward me. Uh, they told my mom I like to read, so she took me to a library, and, and they handed me a card, and with that card, I got to go and I got to take a book for free that the city paid for, and the library paid for, and they handed that to me, and I had a right to it. Or, or I mean, that to me is an act of incredible benevolence, or as the Tea Party would call it, socialism. But, uh, thank you. I, I want to thank, um, I'm going to wrap it up. I want to thank uh, all of my fellow nominees um, and all of my peers in this business uh, because what, what has been going on for the last, well, 30 years, but certainly the last 20 in which I've been involved, is just this consistent raising of the bar. Everybody's thrown down a gauntlet every couple of years, and that makes those of us who are sitting there trying to write the new book go, mother you know, but, but it's a wonderful challenge. It's a wonderful time to be part of it. And, and as part of that, I also want to say, I, I, my biggest influences are, I, I like to call them the three J's. It's the Jameses. It's uh, James Lee Burke, James Crumley, James Elroy. I, I want to thank them very much for consistently raising the bar for me to kind of shoot towards something. And then finally, I want to thank my daughters because they cost so much friggin' money, I have to write. And, and, and my wife, sort of for the same reason, but, all, but, um, but also because uh, this book particularly was her baby. She wanted me to write it. She exhorted me to write it. Uh, she coached me while I was writing it. So thank you, Angie. Thank you all very much. <laughs>